Okay, welcome everybody. Carl Schilling with you, and today I want to go over for all of our people in Financial Concierge University. I want to cover um, something that I think is very, very important, and very few business people uh, are that familiar with. Okay, uh, many, many years ago, I saw something Jay Abraham did called Three Ways to Grow Your Business, and it made a dramatic change. So I want to help uh, all our agents, all the people in sales. I want them to understand some of these factors about business growth. So that's what we're going to cover today in this uh, brief, uh, brief lesson on three ways to grow your business. Okay, now here's what you need to know. There really are only three ways to grow your business. The first is that you can increase your client base, and this is linear growth, which we'll cover. Uh, the second is you can increase the average uh, volume of the transaction. So however much you earn in a transaction, you can increase that volume of that transaction. That's the second way to grow your business. And the third way to grow your business is you can increase the frequency of the transactions you do with a client. Now, when you throw all three of these uh, into uh, your business, you're using the power of leverage and you are uh, uh, growing exponentially. Now, very few... Uh, people in, in the uh, insurance, real estate, especially real estate, but very few people in those financial services industries uh, do anything but linear growth. Now, let me show you what we mean by that, just to give you an idea. Let's just say you're going to grow by 10% in any one of the three areas. So let's look at what happens when you grow linear versus exponential. So let's say it's all about client uh, or increasing transactions. It's all transaction based at this point, but so you got a hundred clients, give or take. Say you've built or established a hundred clients. When I first started in the insurance industry many, many years ago, uh, they told us you needed to have a hundred uh, pocketbooks or you needed a hundred clients. You needed to make a hundred sales, you know, in order to be successful. Okay. So, um, Let's just look at that. If we take the 100 clients and we increase them by simply 10%, we've got a $1,000 average transaction, meaning that our revenue is $1,000 per that client with that one transaction. And then uh, basically we have the transaction frequency of only doing one line of business with that client. So that's what we have, okay? So that gives us 100 clients um, at $1,000 times one transaction would be $100,000 worth of revenue, okay? Now, if we increase that simply by 10% and do the linear equation, which everybody does, just increasing the transaction by gaining new clients, then we, we grow by 10%. We'd have 110 clients at the end of the year times $1,000. We'll have $110,000. We would have grown 10%. That doesn't take into account a lot of issues, okay? So I'm not, I'm just giving you the numbers here. So let's not worry about, you know, how many people were you able to retain? How many people do you have to replace? You know, how many people uh, fell into chargeback? All these other things. Let's not worry about all of that. Those are factors, but that's not taken into this equation, okay? So now let's look at increasing every one of those areas of the three ways to grow your business by 10%. So you have 100 clients, we, we, we increase that to 110. We have $1,000 on an average volume per transaction. We increase that by 10%. It becomes $1,100. And then we uh, basically increase the amount of transactions we do or the frequency with a client, and we do increase that by 10%. So now we got 1.1% uh, as far as how many um, uh, frequency of, uh, of transactions, okay? So we do that math, and we... Um, we multiply 110 times 1100 times 1 1.1, and we end up with $133,100 as opposed to 110. But now, if I asked you, if you grow all three areas by 10%, what would be your total growth? I think 99% of people see that, they go, oh, 10%, 10%, 10% is 30%. Yet, that's not really the facts. Because you grew uh, with the power of leverage, you grew exponentially. So this, in this case here, you actually grew by 33.1%. You didn't grow by 30%. So basically, this is the power of growing your business the three different ways, all right? This is exponential growth versus linear. 
Now, let's take a closer look at what that really means. First of all, when you're growing uh, what we call linear growth, it's a straight line. Okay, it's a straight line. You, it's, it's, it's a flat line, too, because you start off a given year with a certain amount of clients, and then you're going to uh, grow by only getting more clients. So you have to make more presentations, see more people. You, you have to go out and uh, multiply. Uh, you have to go out, I'm sorry, and create addition. This is an addition factor, okay, because you're adding clients. Now, it's all direct income driven, and we'll get into that as well in a second, but it's direct income driven, which means it's all based on direct income, one form of income. You're increasing clients, you're doing one transaction with that client, it's all transaction based. You've increased by one more transaction and one more direct income driven. So every day, it requires you to have new business because it's the only way that revenues are growing. If you don't get any new business, you don't have any growth in revenue. Okay, that's linear growth. Now, let's look at the exponential side of what we're talking about. First of all, the exponential side includes all three types of income. It includes direct, residual, and passive income. So you have the three types of income. The second thing about exponential growth, because it's a, a form of leverage, it's a, it, it is multiplying. Okay, it is not adding. Now, I don't know about you, but if you, were, if you were able to make your choice, what would you rather have something do? Would you rather have something adding or would you rather have something multiplying? Well, multiplying by its nature is exponential growth. So you certainly want multiplication. Remember the three rules, right? The three golden rules of um, how to become financially independent. The law of multiplicity is part of that. It's a very important rule. It's the second rule, okay? So basically, instead of linear, you want exponential growth. The only way to do that is by increasing client base, increasing the volume per transaction, and increasing the frequency of the transactions. So now how are we going to do this, okay? As we discussed, linear growth is transactional. It's strictly transactional, okay? Exponential growth is relational. Because if I'm having a better relationship, I'm multiplying my business growth. Because by having a better relationship, a couple of things are happening. One, I have a chance to increase the volume uh, uh, per transaction. That's number one. And I also have the ability to increase the frequency of the transactions because I have a better relationship. It's not transactional based. Now, where is this going to come from? So basically, what we're talking about in our system is we're talking about the power of cross-selling. Now, you know that in our training, we, we talk about cross-selling almost all the time because cross-selling is really how to build these three areas of your business. It's about how to create more clients, how to create more volume per transaction, okay, and how to create the frequency of the transactions because, once again, you are positioned as a financial concierge. So if you notice, when we talk about financial transformation, our first tool is awareness. We help people uh, become, we help people eliminate all forms of financial victimization by creating awareness, providing financial literacy education, and helping people become financially independent. That's what we do as a financial concierge. That's who we are. So here's the situation. Financial transformation is a video course that people can just basically go into anytime they want. It's creating awareness and it's also delivering financial literacy education and you get compensated for it. So it's a form of compensation. It's direct compensation, but it's a prospecting tool is what it is. Now you can also hold financial literacy education workshops, bring people in by the numbers at the back of the room you can, um, <coughs> excuse me, you can get people uh, to, uh, to, to come into the course, okay, and then leave and they will be registered for the course. So you can do that out of workshops as well. So that is another method, okay. You can use webinars. That's another method. You can use blogs. You can use all kinds of things. Now, we give you all the content and we create all that for you. So as a financial concierge, what's it leading to? Well, once it comes out of financial literacy education, 
The next steps are we want people to get into financial education services, which is about their credit. It's another door opener. All these door openers lead us into the life insurance portion of our presentations, the life insurance portion of our solutions, of our relationship building. And all of these things lead into bigger life cases, much more sound life cases. In the case of the middle class millionaire plan, it's a, it's a be your own banker. It's a infinite banking function. It's a much larger sale. But here, again, you get compensated at FES, but now in FES, you get compensated direct and residual. So now you get direct, you get financial transformation, you get compensation direct. For financial education services, you get direct and residual compensation, and then you also have your life insurance. So we are really in the creating awareness business. That's truly what we do. And this works for realtors as well, okay? So what do we start off with? Well, basically, we're creating awareness. We're then using financial literacy education inside that awareness. We're using financial transformation as the tool for the financial literacy education. We become a financial concierge through the process. We're helping people create financial independence, okay? And then we are using the other tools that are, that are right there for us that everybody learns through financial transformation and through everything we do with them. They learn the three golden rules of how to become financially independent. They learn the three stages of you. They learn this three ways to grow. They, they start to understand that they have to have the law of multiplicity working for them if they're going to become financially independent. This is your role as a financial concierge. This is what you do. This is how you get compensated. And by creating this awareness and creating this education and then providing the solutions that help people become financially independent, guess what? You become financially independent. Come on, folks. It's not hard. Okay. It's not, it's not, uh, you sit back and do nothing, but it's not hard. It's an educational process. We must teach people the three types of income, but we have to have those. How in the world could we go out and tell people how to have three types of income and we only got one? We need the three types of income. So as a financial concierge, you're getting direct income, okay? As a, as a uh, financial education services, you're getting the residual, direct and residual, and when you do the middle class millionaire plan, you're also creating passive. Now, we have other ways to create passive too, but the middle class millionaire plan is another major component if that's how way you choose to specialize. It's another ability to create passive income. So now you can have multiple streams, not just one stream of direct residual and passive. You can have multiple corridors of direct residual and passive income. And that's what we're trying to get you to really grasp into. So I want to thank you so much for your time today. I want to thank you for taking a peek at this. Uh, again, uh, another lesson here, and I want everybody to realize the power of becoming a financial concierge and all uh, of our training development, our content. If you want to do blogs, we help you. If you want to do email content, we help you. If you want to do video we have specialized video that, that is integrated and has components in it. We have a totally, totally unique virtual office that nobody in the industry has. So we have all these tools for you. These are all tools that fit into your prospecting and marketing. They fit into your sales presentations and your sales concepts. Now when it comes to actual contracting and carriers and things of that nature, if you want to, you can use uh, specific contracts we have created. You don't have to because you're in the university. You're part of the you're, you're learning and getting the coaching. This is going to help you grow your business all three ways. More clients, more volume per transaction with the client, and more frequency of transactions with the client. This is how you grow exponentially. Have a great day. Thanks so much for your time, and I look forward to speaking to you soon.